This is the new 2024 Chevy Silverado EV, and it's a fully electric pickup truck. The electric truck world is getting kind of crowded between Ford and Rivian and Hummer and maybe someday Tesla. But Chevy is now entering the game too with the Silverado EV. And today I'm gonna take you on a full tour of its quirks and features. Before I get started, be sure to check out Cars and Bids, which is my enthusiast car auction website for cool cars from the modern era with free listings. You can list your cool car for free and auction it on Cars and Bids. And we've had some fantastic sales recently, including this wonderful BMW M2 sold for just under $46,000. This great Mercedes Maybach S600 sold for $82,000. And this amazing Mitsubishi Lancer Evo brought almost $45,000 unmodified one owner low mileage car really special. We love stuff like that on cars and bids. If you're looking to buy or sell a cool enthusiast car from the modern era the 1980s and up cars and bids is the place to do it with daily auctions and great selection and free listings. Check it out at carsandbids.com. All right, time for the quirks and features of the Silverado EV. And before I get started with the little stuff, I want to give a general overview of exactly what this vehicle is. So, as you might imagine, the Silverado EV is based on the GMC Hummer EV, which is the full-size electric pickup truck that General Motors has already released. The Hummer EV is a crazy, powerful, expensive, kind of over-the-top, ridiculous pickup truck. And the Silverado EV is intended to be sort of a more rational version Version, more mainstream, more affordably priced to kind of bring some of the benefits of the Hummer EV to a wider audience. Now, just like the Hummer EV, the Silverado EV is only going to be offered as a four-door crew cab model. So basically this body style, that's all you get. No other models are being developed or talked about. This is just the one. But one dramatic difference between this and the Hummer EV, the Hummer EV debuted with its top spec launch edition model, fully equipped, big power, very expensive. This is going to be the exact opposite. The first Silverado EV models to go on sale will be the base model called the WT, which stands for work truck. It's be priced around $41,000, $42,000 with shipping and only available to fleet customers. You can see just how basic bare bones it looks in these images. That's going to be how Chevy rolls out the Silverado EV and those go on sale this spring. Later in the production run, more models will follow. This is the top spec RST version which starts around $107,000 with shipping. Chevy tells me to expect that to come out next fall, so like a year from now, basically, and long after the WT leads the charge in the Silverado EV lineup. Now, you're probably thinking there's a big gap between the $41,000 work truck model and this $107,000 RST version, and indeed there is. There will be many other trend levels in between. Chevy hasn't fully announced exactly what they're going to be called or where they're going to be priced, but you can imagine quite a few different models, between the WT and the RST. Now, one trim level that Chevy has announced is a Trail Boss version. Just like the regular gas-powered Silverado offers an off-roader Trail Boss model, the Silverado EV will as well. More details on that coming in the future. Now, as for performance, all Silverado EV models will come standard with all-wheel drive. And even the base model WT version, the stripped-down steel wheels work truck model, will have 510 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque. The base version, $41,000 sticker, has over 500 horsepower. This model, the RST, has more than 750 horsepower and 785 pound-feet of torque. Massive numbers for a vehicle like this. Now, it's worth pointing out that this is still not Hummer EV territory in terms of performance. The launch edition Hummer EV has over a thousand horsepower, but that is really going to serve as the halo car for these electric General Motors pickup trucks, the one at the very top of the range that everybody aspires to. Like I said, this is sort of a trickled down version of that, but it's still powerful. This one with over 750 horses does zero to 60 in under four and a half seconds, which is still really, really fast, even though it's not quite on Hummer EV level. Now, Chevy says that this truck's best acceleration will be achieved when you're in wide open Watts mode, which is a special driving 
mode intended to optimize the truck for maximum straight line performance wide open watts also known as wow it sounds a little cheesy but that's what it has and i guess it will maximize performance and by the way zero to 60 in under four and a half seconds is a pretty neat trick considering this really is a full-size truck and i mean full size about 233 inches long which places it right in the middle of a lot of the other massive full-size trucks silverado f-150 they're all about that big in their crew cab configurations and this is that it's not any smaller but it is a lot faster than regular trucks. And by the way, on the subject of powertrain, General Motors says that they estimate this truck will go around 400 miles between charges, maximum range around 400 miles, which is pretty impressive. And it's more than the Hummer EV. This truck is more aerodynamic, has some other optimizations, 400 miles between charges. And GM also says it can charge quickly. If you find a charger capable, this truck can add back about 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes, which is indeed pretty fast charging. So with a little overview out of the way, let's talk through some of this truck's interesting quirks and features. Let's start with one of the very coolest, which is the mid gate that separates the bed from the passenger compartment. So in its standard form, the bed is around six feet in length, which is fine. Nothing amazing, but good enough. However, you can make it larger because the mid gate between the compartment and the bed actually removes. As you can see right now, it's in place and the bed looks pretty standard, but you can drop the mid gate in a 60 40 split so there's the 60 side dropped and suddenly you have extra room for stuff in your bed to go through into the cabin which makes your bed longer you can also drop the other side so now the entire mid gate is down which means again that more stuff can come from your bed and through into your passenger compartment which extends the length of your bed but the cool thing here is the rear window is still in place and that way you don't have some giant wide open air blowing all throughout the interior and exterior and one big thing, the window's still in place. You just get a little bit more bed, which kind of keeps things a little bit more rational. But if you have a larger item that you want to stick through from your bed into your passenger compartment, the window can be removed too. Now I can't remove it on this pre-production Silverado EV. This is essentially an auto show vehicle, super pre-production. It does not run or drive. Basically no vehicle systems work, but in the production model, the window will be able to come out if you want to extend that. And with the mid gate down and the window removed, it extends the bed from about six feet in length to over nine feet in length. So when you want to transport stuff, you can, or if you want to fold the mid gate back up in place, you get your passenger compartment back. Similar to what Chevy did with the Avalanche all those many years ago, it also had a folding mid gate. It was a famous feature of that truck. Well, they've revived it for the Silverado EV. Now this folding mid gate is not standard on all Silverado EV models, but it's going to be available across the lineup and it is standard on this, the RST launch edition version. Now, since we're talking about the back of this truck, and since I'm sitting back here, let's talk through the rear seats, which I must say when they are in place, they give you a ton of space. You got a lot of knee room, leg room, hip room, head room. There's just a lot of room back here. This is not different from most full-size pickup trucks, pretty standard, but there is a lot of space in this truck. You can easily use it as a family car or to even transport adults in the back with no problem. Now, one interesting quirk you notice back here, on the back of the front seats, you have this little storage pocket, and there's a little red trim with a strange logo a few like lines going across it that is Chevy's EV e logo and you will also notice that in the badge in the truck itself you can see Silverado but the E is blue and Chevy is doing that to signify models in its lineup that have been electrified so instead of saying Silverado EV everywhere it just says Silverado with the blue lines they've also carried those little blue E lines onto the tailgate you can see again the Silverado logo includes the E with those lines and it's a few other places too like I showed you on that red trim piece on the seat back pocket and it's also on the side step you can see in the middle you have those little lines again it's sort of like the E themes now like I said Chevy is going to be integrating these blue lines into the badging for all of their electric models you can see the Blazer EV has it as well and Blazer you get the blue lines for the E I asked Chevy what happens when inevitably you come out with a vehicle that doesn't have an E in its name and it's a 
electric. And they said, we haven't had that problem yet. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. So for now, you got the blue lines in all of the electric vehicles. Now, one other cool thing you notice from the back of this truck is this giant glass roof panel. Absolutely massive. Again, this will not be standard on all of the Silverado EV models, but it is on this high-spec RST version. And it's cool. You can look up and see the world. Although it is not as cool as what the Hummer EV has, which is removable roof panels. That vehicle can become a convertible. General Motors is not going to offer that on the Silverado EV, at least not yet, or maybe not at all. Instead, you have a giant glass roof panel. But anyway, Next, we move up front, and I gotta say, it is fantastic here. The materials, the quality, everything is really nice. This is also true of the Hummer EV, and it has certainly trickled into the Silverado EV as well. Just really nice in here, good materials, good layout, big, full color, high resolution screens, everything up here looks nice. Now, like I've been saying, obviously not every Silverado EV will look like this up front, because this is the top range RST version, and it's got stuff that other models won't. But from where I'm sitting, the RST model looks pretty damn good. Now, one of the things I mentioned, these screens, you have two screens here, a gauge cluster screen and a screen in the center. The center screen is especially notable, absolutely huge, tilted slightly towards the driver, fantastic resolution, obviously full color, really, really high quality product. Now, just like most of the stuff in this truck, it is not currently functional. So I can't show you how it all works and some of the weird, interesting quirks and features it has. I will be able to show you that stuff as I get into a production model sometime next year. But for now, you get a good idea of what the screen setup is gonna be like in this truck, and it's really excellent, this giant screen in the center. A couple of things I especially like. One, this little volume dial in the corner, not integrated into the screen. Instead, it is a physical dial that just sort of sits on top of the screen, almost like it's floating there, which is kind of cool. I also like the fact that the climate controls appear to be largely distinct from the screen. They're in this separate pad below of actual buttons and dials, and so you can control the climate, the temperature in the truck without having to go into the screen, at least for most things, that's what it seems like. Now, other interesting items in this interior. For one thing, the gear selector is this stock coming off the steering column, almost looks like a wiper stock or a signal stock. That is your gear selector. You don't have that cool, brutish, brawny thing that the Hummer EV has in the center console. You just get a more traditional stock. Now, another interesting item worth pointing out in the vicinity of the steering wheel, this truck has Super Cruise, which is General Motors' fantastic driver assist technology, automated cruise control and automated steering. It's almost entirely hands-free if you're on a mapped road. You can see the little camera sensor for Super Cruise at the top of the steering column and the top part of the steering wheel changes color for Super Cruise. This truck is equipped with it. Now, General Motors hasn't said like which versions of this truck will offer it and how many models will get Super Cruise, but it will certainly be available on these Silverado EV trucks, which is a nice benefit. And GM also says that Super Cruise works when you're towing. It won't do auto lane changes when you're towing because a trailer back there would, I guess, block some of the rear cameras and sensors, but otherwise, Super Super Cruise will work even if you're towing a trailer, which is another nice benefit. Next up, here's a nice little Easter egg quirk in here. You open up the center console lid and you can see imprinted on the underside of the lid, you have an image of an old truck and then also an image of this, the Silverado EV. Presumably this was like the first Chevy truck and then the most recent Chevy truck on the same center console lid, kind of a fun little Easter egg. And of course, functionally, you also have a rather large center console storage area as you can see. And speaking of storage in this truck, there are a lot of storage compartments. You have a glove box over on the passenger side, of course, but above that, you have this extra compartment, which is kind of nice for extra items. And you even have little storage pockets in the center tunnel, like in the driver and passenger footwells, you can see little storage pockets in here for extra storage. In addition to more center console storage, more door panel storage, there's a lot of storage in this interior. Now, to the left of the steering wheel, you can see a group of buttons over here, buttons and switches that do various things. One shows an image of a truck with up and down arrows that will raise or lower the truck because these have air suspension. So you can get more ground clearance for clear obstacles or less to make it easier to get in and out with that switch. You also have a button there that can lower the tailgate, which actually isn't all that unusual on full-size pickup trucks. Most of them have that now, but the weird thing is next to that, a button that can open the front. That is not the engine compartment latch like in most vehicles because this truck doesn't have an engine. Instead, you push it and the front opens to reveal a storage area, a front trunk 
in this truck because there's no engine up there to take up space. Now, we've already seen this front trunk in the Hummer EV, of course, but also the Ford Lightning, Rivian, and various other electric vehicles. So there's not huge novelty anymore in having a front trunk, but it's still very much worth pointing out because it's like a lockable storage area in a pickup truck. One of the big problems with trucks has always been if you want to throw your storage, your stuff in a truck, you got to put it in the bed and then it can get rained on or stolen. You don't really have a lockable compartment. Well, now you got both a bed and like a lockable trunk like you'd have in a normal car. It's kind of the best of all worlds. Also worth pointing out, there's a little extra hidden storage inside this interior for more lockable space. Underneath the back seat, you have this large compartment under here where you can stick stuff if you want it hidden and locked inside the interior so nobody can access it. Pretty nice. But anyway, since I'm talking exterior stuff with that front trunk storage compartment, let's go through some other exterior quirks and features of this truck, starting with the wheels, which are massive. These are 24 inch wheels. Absolutely huge. I remember 20 inch wheels was considered big. Well, these things are 24s ridiculously sized. Now, again, this comes with the caveat that not all Silverado EV models will have 24s. This is the RST model, et cetera, et cetera, but still 24 inch wheels. Now, this truck also has rear wheel steering, which means that especially at low speeds, you get a great benefit. The rear wheels turn in the opposite direction of the front wheels, which greatly reduces your turning circle and makes the truck more maneuverable in parking lots or other places where you're trying to tightly turn. And that could be a real benefit in a huge vehicle like this. Now, it's important to point out that one thing it doesn't have is crab walk. That's the mode in the Hummer EV where the wheels can all go in the same direction. The truck can almost move sideways. This doesn't offer it. Chevy told me that that is going to be an exclusive feature to the GMC brand. So the Hummer EV has it and also the upcoming GMC Sierra EV has it, but the Silverado EV does not get crab walk, but it does get four wheel steering instead. A couple of other interesting items on the outside. One is this front light bar, which is obviously very distinctive compared to regular gas powered Silverado models. And the Chevy logo is almost in a halo in this front light bar to really emphasize that this is something different. There are a couple of other cool lighting quirks. For example, the rear lights actually have the Chevrolet script integrated into them if you look closely and kind of a cool design as well. But if you come up to the front lights, you'll get the best one, the orange side marker light, which is a federal mandate is the Chevy logo. The Chevy bow tie logo is actually that orange light. So instead of just having a normal boring light there, they did something a little clever, if you notice it, a little hidden Easter egg. Now, as for the overall look of this truck, I must say I absolutely love it. I love the way that this truck looks. I'm a big fan of the Hummer EV. I think it drives great. It's fun. It's fast. It's cool. I love that it's a convertible, but I really think the styling is kind of over the top and a little just too muscular and too steroidy. <laughs> this truck gives you a lot of the benefits of the Hummer EV without that crazy look that I think a lot of people just don't want to involve themselves with. The Silverado EV is more cool, more streamlined, more modern, frankly, and a lot less in your face Hummer. And I think that really does the design a good service. I think this truck looks really nice. And next up, another cool thing on the outside of the Silverado EV is the tailgate. These trucks are offered with this General Motors tailgate that can do all sorts of different things. In Chevy's, it's called the Multi-Flex Tailgate, and it really does have a lot of different capabilities. Obviously, you can put it down as just a regular tailgate, but you can do other stuff. You can use the center section as a step so that you can climb on it and get into the bed, or you can do various other things with it, including using the very top of the tailgate as kind of a bed stopper to keep stuff from sliding out of your bed. Now, when you have the tailgate all the way down, the bed stopper up, and the mid gate folded, this truck has more than 11 feet of overall length in the bed. So it's absolutely huge. It goes from a fairly standard six foot bed to a really large bed, as long as you have this tailgate and the mid gate down. Now for a full review of this multi flex tailgate, I've shown it in other Chevy and GMC pickup reviews, and I've shown all the stuff that it can do. And I will link those in the description below. So you can check out every little thing that this tailgate offers. As for other stuff in the back of the 
truck, you can see there's a little step integrated into the side here. They call this the corner step, and it allows you to more easily climb into the bed or reach into the bed to get stuff if you want to. As for the bed itself, right now it looks fairly standard, except for that cool mid-gate thing, but Chevy says there will be an accessory available that can add up to 10 power outlets to this truck, most of which will be added to the bed. The benefit there is you can use your truck when you're out on a job site or out in the field to power tools, to power stuff. Ford has already made a big deal about how the F-150 Lightning can do this, and the Silverado EV will offer this capability as well. It could kind of revolutionize where you can plug in stuff, since you can now just do it to your truck. As for capacities, towing and payload, the base model WT version of this truck will have an 8,000 pound towing capacity, but Chevy says that there will eventually be a package offered that allows you to bump that up to a 20,000 pound towing capacity, which is obviously a really serious number. Base model WT will also have a 1,200 pound payload capacity. Now, this being the RST, this model is more capable than the standard base model and it's more powerful, and so it has a higher towing capacity. Chevy says this one will be able to tow 10,000 pounds and slightly higher payload capacity as well of up to 1,300 pounds versus 1,200 in the WT, and so a little bit more capabilities for the RST. By the way, one other item worth noting back here, you look at the top of the tailgate, very subtle, but there's those three lines again, just like you had the E in the Silverado logo. Just a little subtle reminder that this is your special electric version of this truck. And so that's the new 2024 Chevy Silverado EV, or at least a very pre-production version of it. I think this is an incredibly cool truck. I love the Hummer EV, and this brings a lot of its advantages to a more attainable price point. And I truly can't wait to drive the Silverado EV as it gets closer to going on sale next year. For now, there's your most thorough tour yet of the new 2024 Chevy Silverado EV.